ancestors lived. Up a wilting farm, the remains of an Iron Age furnace have been uncovered, at least 2,000 years old. In the local environment there, we're acquiring the iron ore. And what we've got here, as you can see, this cylindrical clay structure here, would be in a tower, which from the top you would have thrown in the iron ore, pumped in air from the bottom to get hot and charcoal in from the top to get the heat. And this process separates the ore from the iron. This road building scheme has been highly controversial, sparking weeks of sometimes violent confrontations. Those in favour of the link road say it's vital to the local economy. Environmentalists say it's devastating an outstanding stretch of countryside. Where you can't avoid the road having an effect on our project site, then what Oxford Archaeology do is archaeologically excavating and recording those remains in order that we get the sort of the benefit of the new knowledge that's going to come out of the work. So in that sense, the, the link road offers a real opportunity to learn much more about the history and archaeology of this area. And some of that history is very ancient indeed. These flint implements date back 12,000 years to the Stone Age. Others, like this exquisitely made arrowhead from the Bronze Age, reveal how our ancestors hunted the wetland areas in Coombe Haven Valley. You would have been down there hunting various games such as uh, waterfowl, um, swans perhaps, or geese, um, and also deer, which probably would come down and drink around the water's edge. The link road, costing £100 million, is due to open next year. Meanwhile, the archaeologists will continue their remarkable work, recording how people have lived here since the end of the Ice Age. Malcolm Shaw, ITV News. More headlines now. Police in Sussex are looking for two men who attacked a teenager in a seafront doorway. The victim was sexually assaulted after she left the Coalition nightclub in Brighton. Police believe it happened in the area near Middle Street and King's Road sometime around 4am this morning. Well, we know that she left the nightclub at about 20 to 4 um, and the attack has taken place at some point within about 20 minutes and half an hour of her leaving. Uh, she's described the male that has attacked her as a black man. And she's another black man. operational next month. The terminal building will be bigger, there will be more check-in desks, and the covered walkway will connect the train station and the terminal. It's hoped the extension will lead to 300 new local jobs. Watching ITV News in the Meridian region, coming up. A unique way of life celebrated in pictures. And those dark, wet days of January, but don't despair, help out for explosives hidden in tubes of toothpaste. With the Winter Olympics getting underway tomorrow, intelligence officials fear terrorists may be specifically targeting flights to Russia. Our sports editor Steve Scott is in Sochi a few months ago sent to this report. This latest warning from the US the Department of Homeland Security is described as non-specific, uh, but it's been given out to all airlines who fly directly into Russia. What they're concerned about is that terrorists are going to try and smuggle explosives inside toothpaste tubes either to detonate on one of these planes or to make a bomb when they get inside Russia. Interestingly, in Russia itself, already the authorities have banned passengers from carrying liquids in flights to Sochi uh, in their hand luggage. Of course, security they're taken very seriously indeed. 40,000 staff from the army, the police, are already in operation here. There are gunships off the coast, anti-aircraft guns uh, in the hills, and there are a series of checkpoints leading all the way into Sochi. Sometimes it feels a bit like you're inside a sterile, uh, militarised zone. And it also feels like that it would be unlikely a terrorist would get inside or pierce that ring of steel, although there are softer, high-profile targets outside it that are at risk, and they would certainly garner international headlines uh, if they were hit. Uh, Lord Sebastian Co, the chairman of the British Olympic Association, arrived in Sochi today. Of course, he was in charge of organising security for the London 2012 Games. He says the British team has not been updated or briefed about this latest potential security threat, and that security threat level remains the same, although he does accept that the problems facing uh, the security services here in Russia are different uh, to those in London. Security around by the cost of family breaks during the school holidays could be affected by the security Parliament. Paul Cookson was shocked by the half-term price inflation and took to Facebook to complain. His post went viral and more than 160,000 people were outside of each of the people talking, but also some action with a petition he mentioned and um, later this month a parliamentary gathering. Let's have a look at the same on that 
really was so Joe was uh, pretty much parent of Isaac, down to these becoming it, and I'm going to get into time to so take us to the night court perhaps. So, uh, I'm going to take example, as Paul Cooks and say online, I'm going to look at the two gay centre parts, three hundred for trip from the top, uh, uh, broaden it out with a